Hello there. I'm in the lab today with some interesting materials. And I wanted to show you their properties. This one is a sodium copper chlorophyllin. this one because right now it looks really dark. Just this kind of dark color. But when you add water, this is distilled H2O. I don't know if you can see that, but it turns this vibrant green color. And I think it's really a beautiful shade of green. This other material is a cobalt chloride hexahydrate, and this one is crystalline granules. It's a lovely pink color. alcohol. It turns this fantastic blue color. I don't know the chemistry well enough to say what makes it do that. But I think it's pretty cool. And another cool part is that when I add distilled water goes back to being pink. Which I think is very cool. From the Food and Drug Administration, it says, the color additive, sodium copper chlorophyll, is a green to black powder prepared from chlorophyll by saponification and replacement of magnesium by copper. Chlorophyll is extracted from alfalfa using any one or a combination of the solvents acetone, ethanol, and hexane. So it's used primarily as a color additive, which seems appropriate. The color is so rich. And it has various 
as uh, restrictions have been, may not exceed 0.2% in a dry beverage mix, that sort of thing. Wikipedia says that chlorophyllin's sodium copper derivative is used as a food additive and in alternative medicine. So, cobalt chloride and cobalt chloride hexahydrate. from Wikipedia. It says that cobalt chloride is an inorganic compound of cobalt and chlorine. The hexahydrate is deep purple in color, whereas the anhydrous form is sky blue. I would, I would still call it pink rather than a deep purple. Because of the ease of the hydration, dehydration reaction, and the resulting color change, cobalt chloride is used as an indicator for water in desiccants. So if you're familiar with desiccants, they are a, uh, usually a completely dry powder. It's used to absorb moisture. You'll often see little silica packets in food or electronics, those are desiccants, and they make sure that no moisture accumulates inside a container. And with how easy this material changes color, it is included in those desiccants sometimes to indicate whether there's water there or not. It says that cobalt chloride is also used in organic synthesis and electroplating objects with cobalt metal. Uh, in 2005 to 2006, Cobalt chloride was the eighth most prevalent allergen in patch tests. It's interesting. I won't touch it just in case. It says it's also used for invisible ink. I hope you found these materials at least mildly interesting. If I can, I'll try to find some more for you. Do a little bit more chemical show and tell. See you next time.